Okay, friends, it is time to get ready for the holidays. It's past time probably, right? You've probably already have started putting out the decorations and all of those things that we do in preparation for whether Thanksgiving or kind of um, Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, all those, those holidays. But one thing that I wanted to share with you is that there are some hot spots in your home that you wanna make sure to clean before your guests arrive. And these are spaces that are ones that are quickly to identify that your house is not clean. So these are the hot spots that you wanna jump on before you actually have guests over. And so let's jump right into them. So friends, the first spot is our baseboards. And one way to know that your house is overdue for a cleaning, when I look at my baseboards and know that they are dusty, then it's time to go. And so look at your baseboards, and if you see a lot of dust on them, then when your guests come over, I guarantee you that is what they're going to see is the dust. And so for the holidays, you wanna get in and you wanna knock that dust off. One thing that you can use is a dryer sheet, and that can help you easily just kind of um, get the dust off of your baseboards. It kind of tracks to them, tracks the dust, and that could be easy. Um, another area to de definitely think about is um, your molding on the top. Um, get all those cobwebs out of the corner um, in the top because, again, um, it's something that is not just in your face, but overall for the cleanliness of your home, you definitely can um, feel that. So I haven't done my uh, Christmas cleaning yet, but I was inspired to do this video because I know that these are the spots that I'm going to have to tackle uh, before I even venture to put my Christmas tree up and do all of that stuff. So I encourage you before you bring in the decor to just knock these little bit of tasks out the way so that you really have a just um, fresh home for the holidays. Next friends are those light switch plates. You know, those are things that we often just kind of maybe overlook, but especially now with the pandemic, we want to make sure that we're addressing those and you want to get those um, disinfectant wipes out and wipe those down and make sure that you really give your light switch plates um, a good wipe down. Along with, if you go over to your light switch plate, if you haven't addressed it for a while, you will notice that it looks really dingy. And so so as uh, guests are clicking that guest bedroom light or um, walking by that light switch plate, they will notice that little bit of, of grunge. And so here's the thing about it. It's about an overall feel. So when you hit the spots that I'm sharing with you today, you may not necessarily see it just when, when you come into the space, but you will feel it. These are spots that when you get them clean, your house truly feels um, clean. For example, my other is my appliances. Like right now they are, they need a good wiping down and it makes my house feel, my place feel grungy. But if I go through and I shine all the stainless steel and I do the fridge and the stove, it just makes the kitchen sparkle. It feels clean and it just really gives a whole new life to the kitchen. And so you definitely want to make to go through and really shine your appliances and not just do the quick wipe over, give it a really good um, rub down. Now I like to use the Wyman's stainless steel cleaner uh, for my appliances. It works really well. So if you're looking for something for your stainless steel, that's a great product the microwave now this is one that i'm highly picky about because the microwave is one that um it can be a turnoff um, a lot of people warm things up in the microwave like they may be getting that piece of pumpkin pie and then they want to put a cup of coffee um rewarm a cup of coffee but if they open your microwave and you have food stuck to the top of the microwave and all who wants to put their coffee in there? So it can be a little bit of a turnoff. And so you want to make sure to get into that microwave, clean it out really good, get all the gunk and food uh, away from it. Um, and if you want to just keep this as a maintenance thing, it's really easy to just kind of incorporate it into your daily, when you wash your dishes, just wipe out your microwave. Um, another thing that you can do is take um, a bowl of water, put a lemon in it and run it in the microwave. And that can help really just break down some of the gunk and really refresh your microwave. Next is personal to me, and this is that coffee maker. You know, you want to get that coffee maker clean because you don't want your coffee maker looking like the coffee maker that we see in break rooms, right? You ever go in a break room, you want a, coffee, a cup of coffee so bad, but the coffee maker just looks so gross. And I'm not saying that our coffee makers at home look gross, but if you use your coffee every coffee maker every day, such as I do, they get grungy. They really do get grungy from the coffee splattering when it's 
kind of dripping in the cup, just from people pulling on and off. It's just from refilling. And so you want to give your coffee maker and your whole coffee tea area a nice wipe down and a nice nice cleaning before uh, you kick off the holiday season because it's going to take you a long way because I know my coffee maker, this, uh, my coffee maker is always getting a workout, but I know it's going to get an extra workout with having guests and things like that. Glass, 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 glass. All of those glass items you have in your home, such as the bulbs that are over your light fixtures or the glass tables, you know, dust loves our glass. And so, you know, if you have glass, you tend to figure you're going to always be cleaning it more often than if you had wood or anything like that. But that's something that definitely you want to tackle and have shining beautifully um, before you have that uh, those first guests over for Christmas and so you can enjoy too not only for guests but you know getting in and giving a, a nice um, Christmas cleaning to your house and not necessarily spring cleaning but winter cleaning um, to your house is so necessary uh, before you bring out the de decorations I encourage you again to do all this before bringing out all of your holiday decorations and then friends, your mirrors, you know, we have that mirrored furniture that you like, or you may have mirrored frames on the wall. You want to go through and really shine those mirror or anything chrome, because again, those are things that when they're not shining, they're not pretty. And so you definitely want to go through and make sure that um, all of your glass and all of your chrome and all of that is sparkling. Um, because I do encourage you when you're putting out holiday things, if you want to give that little twinkle to your home, that little sparkle, set out something that is stainless steel or silver or chrome. That is such a great way to bring sparkle without putting glitz sparkle, but a great way to put a classy sparkle on your home. So a nice shine bowl with some nuts and fruit in it um, in, a, in a silver bowl is a really cute way um, to really bring a little sparkle to your home. So friends, I hope you've enjoyed these tips that I shared with you today on just those key little areas to get cleaned up for your winter, winter cleaning before you bring out your decor. I know we're anxious to get the decor out. I'm anxious to get my decor out, but I know I need to really get in and hit these core hot spots spots um, before I bring out the decor so that my overall feel for my spa space, the smell of the space and everything is really where it needs to be for the holiday season. So take a moment to do that and friends, I promise you it'll be the biggest payoff. And with that being said, friends, if you're not subscribed to the At Home with Nikki family, I would love for you to click that subscribe button. And if you enjoyed this uh, video, definitely click the like button and let me know. And leave me a comment down below. I want to hear from you. So definitely leave me a comment below and let me know. This is what I want to know. I want to know when are you going to do your, your winter cleaning? before you put out your decorations, and then when are you gonna put out your decor? Are you gonna be that before Thanksgiving person, or are you gonna be that first of December person? Let me know. I really am curious to find out kind of where you guys uh, lay with that. So friends, have a beautiful day. I will see you at the next video. And this is Nikki saying goodbye.